Okay, this is a problem that falls under the category of equilibrium of a particle, in particular where all of the forces involved are coplanar or in the they're in the same plane. So the device shown is used to straighten the frames of wrecked autos. To turn the tension of each segment of the chain, i.e. AB and BC, if the force which the hydraulic cylinder DB exerts on point B is 3.50 kilonewtons. Okay, so to do this, we need to do a free body diagram of some component, and we're going to do it of this, whatever this piece is at B. Okay, so it's like, it looks like a ring or something, so... Okay, but but particle equilibrium is, is just going to mean that all of the forces that are acting on any free body diagram that we draw are going to be concurrent. The, their lines of actions meet at a point, which means we could have just drawn this ring as a point, like a particle. But we'll leave it as a ring just for visual illustration. Okay, we'll put our XY coordinate system, the origin, at the center of the ring. We don't have to. We could we could put it pretty much anywhere. It wouldn't matter, but why not? We'll just put it put it here. So so y x. Okay, what forces do we know? We know this force here. This is three point five kilonewtons okay and instead of using cosines and sines to get our to get our angles we could do that but let's just go a different route here so so this 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 ratio of rise to run is 450 to 400 so nine eight so th this is in a ratio of eight to nine. Okay, and we could just assume directions for the chain since we don't since it's since it's unknown, but let's try and intuitive, intuitively put the right directions. So so B C chain the, the B C is gonna be should be pulling down. So something like that. So this is F BC and this slope ratio is so 450 to 250 is 9 so 9 to 5 okay and then again we could assume the direction for chain AB but let's try and get it right. And, and just remember, too, we know the lines of action of these forces, right? Like, because this is a, this is a, this is a, a like, like a cable or a chain. The force has to go, the, the, they, they can't take compression, compressive forces. And we know that the line of action goes along the chain. It has to. Okay. And then they give us the direction of this force here. They show you its direction. But even, but even, even if they didn't show you its direction, this is a little bit of an advanced concept, but you would know that the that the line of action is along the cylinder here, but that's a little advanced, but they, they give you this direction. So again, we know this direction because this is a, a, a cable or a chain, and it should be pulling to the left. But again, it... Uh, we, 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 don't, we don't have to get the direction right. Because uh, if we just assume, if we assume directions of the unknown forces, the um, whether or not you get a negative or, or positive answer will tell you if that guess is right. But you, but the forces that you do that you know you have to put correctly, like this, we can't just put it going down, because we're we're adding this force ourselves. So this is F A B. So. So we got a, we got a free body diagram. We can do we can apply all of our equations of equilibrium to that that free body diagram. So so let's sum the forces in the x. We know that that they must be equal to zero. 
this particle is not moving, not accelerating. So we've got minus F A B, okay, plus 3.5, okay, and we're using this, this like slope ratio method instead of sines and cosines. So what we can say is, so the hypotenuse is 81 plus 64, the square root of 81 plus 64. So the square root of 145 and then with 8 on the top. Okay? So plus F, B, C and so 81 plus 25 is 106. So the square root of 106, you put the hypotenuse in the denominator and then the, the corresponding component in the numerator, right? And now this is equal to zero. So what, what do we have? We got plus, so eight divided by root 145 times so 2.3253 okay plus 5 divided by root 106.48564 FBC is equal to zero. So what we have is we've got FAB minus 0.48564 FBC is equal to 2.3253. Okay, so now let's sum the forces in the Y. So 3.5, positive 3.5, and then you say the square root of 145. Okay. And then minus FBC and then square root of 106 and then 9. Okay. It's equal to 0. So we've got so 3.5 times 9 divided by square root of 145. 2.6159, so 2.6159 minus 9 divided by the square root of 106, 0 0.87416. Okay, so point eight seven four one six FBC is equal to two point six one five nine. So FBC is equal to two point six one five nine divided by point eight seven four one six. So 2.99, and this is kilonewtons. We've been working in kilonewtons. Determine the tension of each segment of the chain. So this is one of the answers. Okay, so now let's just use this equation to find FAB. FAB minus 0.48. Five six four FBC 
2.99 is equal to 2.3253. So 0.48564 times 2.99. And we're going to add this to 2.3253. So 3.78. All right, and that is the tension in FAB. So there you go, that is your answers.